welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share with you some of my favourite products to use with mics. I'm fairly sure I have done a video similar to this in the past but it has been a while and my favourites have definitely changed so I thought I'd share them with you and a lot of these are kind of naturalistic themed just because that does reflect on the theme I use with my mics but you can use these in any enclosure if you have a rainbow coloured theme. I'm sure many of these would also fit into that theme too so I've got about 10 things to share with you and I'll try to link as many of these in the description as possible. So jumping in with what is probably my favourite item out of all of these and that is this mouse hide. You can actually see one of them in the background, I think they're sleeping in it at the moment. And this is made and sold in my friend's store called Raccessories. This I love, I've just recently bought a big version for my wraps and another one. And these are really cool because obviously as you can see in the back, you put this against the glass and it's kind of like a multi-chamber hide and you can watch them sleep and get some very cute pictures. So this I love, I do varnish these to protect them from their pee and you can put these anywhere in the enclosure, it doesn't have to be at the front, buried under the bedding and they can make tunnels and things. This is probably my favourite thing out of everything. Next up is a wheel and I have tried so many wheels with the mice and just been really disappointed. Nothing compares to the Night Angel wheels. I will warn you they are quite expensive, especially if you're in the UK and have to pay silly prices for shipping, but I justified it and I am really happy because these are really sturdy, they're easy to clean, they don't rust, they come in so many colours to fit any cage theme you've got and also various different sizes. So if you have larger mice or other pets, these are so good and I can't ever see myself not using Night Angel wheels from now on. The next thing I love using with the mice, you might be like, mm, that's a bit boring. It kind of is, but this is multi-purpose and it's just a grass mat. The ones you can get from Zooplus do have little hangy bits and you can use this as a hammock. This one I primarily use as kind of a background in the enclosure and you can do this if you have a tank or one like mine or even a bar cage, you could zip tie this onto the bars and just make it a bit more interesting, make your mice feel a bit more secure and they can also have a really good time chewing this and making holes in it. So I love these, they make a naturalistic enclosure look way nicer by not having a blank background and you could also bury these in a substrate and make layers in the substrate. So many things you could do with this for just a basic grass mat, so I love these. The next thing I love using with the mice is a foraging toy. This I do sell in my store and I love this. I'm not just saying that because I sell it, but I've been searching for so long for good foraging toys that are enriching and they won't get their head stuck or won't be too heavy or risk injuring them. This one is pretty much perfect because it's the right size, not too heavy, they're not gonna get their head stuck and you can put most of their food in this. So my mice love this, I love this and it's really good to find other ways to give them enrichment when there's not too many mouse-sized foraging toys on the market. The next thing I like to use with the mice, you will have to excuse because they have been using this recently, and that is a multi-chamber hide. These are commonly used with hamsters, which are a burrowing species, but I think they're also great for mice, and they don't take up too much space in the enclosure because you can bury this under the substrate and then put other things on top of this and kind of stack like the wheel or something on the lid. So these are really great. And also mice in the wild would live in burrows and it kind of mimics that by having the different sections and they really enjoy dragging like bedding and hay and making little nests. And my mice feel really secure sleeping in here. So I highly recommend these if you've not tried them with your mice. It is really cute to see them sleeping in the different sections. The next things I love using with the mice are sprays. I look like I'm holding a bouquet of flowers. These ones are the Naturals Harvest Festival. Uh, these ones are the Naturals Pick and Fly. This one is kind of like more grassy sprays and this one has more seed based sprays. This one is aimed at birds but you can use it with mice. And both of these I do try to sell in my store on and off. 
and I use both of them and frequently borrow them from my mic. So these are great, obviously you can put these around the enclosure, poke them into logs and hidey places and they make the enclosure look really nice but the main thing is they are really enriching and encouraging mice to forage for their food. How they would in the wild, they would go to like grassy areas and pick off seeds from stems and stuff. So these are really good and I always make sure to put these throughout the month into the mouse enclosure. The next thing I could not live without when it comes to the mice is wooden platforms like this. This one is handmade again by Raccessories and I've also recently bought this one which is like a bark texture. I think it's supposed to be for reptiles but it does have the wooden legs to attach on the back. These I'd say are a staple because if you don't put their wheels or their water bowls or their hidey houses on a platform with legs, it will get buried in the bedding and you probably won't see it until you come to clean the enclosure. So these are a must, I'd say, in my enclosure for actually keeping things above bedding level and not getting them buried in the bedding. is probably the most random thing I will mention in this entire video and you're probably thinking what on earth are you holding? This is industrial velcro and I'm pretty much out of this because I use it so often. It's so handy for attaching things like water bottles in their enclosures. If I didn't have this they would not have a water bottle in there because you can use this to attach water bottles in like tanks or carriers. I even use this with the reptiles to industrial velcro their thermostats onto the side of the enclosure so I can easily get to them but these are great with water bottles because they're super strong, they have never pulled the water bottle off of the side and otherwise I don't know how I would attach them so I always get asked what is your bottle attached with and the answer is this. My next favourite item to use with them is of course a cork log and in my humble opinion this is a very nice looking cork log. It has multiple holes for them to run in and out of and these look really nice in any enclosure but I always get questions asking don't they stink, how do you clean them and yes over time they do end up having a mouse odour to them but all I do with these when they start to get a bit stinky is put them in very very hot water and vinegar and then put them outside to dry in the sunshine so you do have to end up replacing these every so often sometimes they are a bit beyond health but these are nice the mice enjoy chewing them and they give them really good coverage in the enclosure to make them feel safe so my last favorite item is another handmade one this is by Clyde's Critter Climbers they make so many handmade toys for mice and rats and other small pets this is just one of them, this is a wooden ladder and I really like these, they're really thick and sturdy and you can pick any colour to customise the beads and fit whatever cage theme you've got going on in your enclosure. So this one is a double one and I've also got another one in their enclosure at the moment. But these are really good, really nice quality, I like that you can customise them and her website will be in the description. But that is my current 10, I think, favourite items to use with the mice at the moment. I'm sure it'll probably change over the next few years as I discover more products, but that is what I'm loving and the mice are loving at the moment. I hope it's inspired you to maybe get some of these things for your mice and see if they love them as much as mine do, but hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!